Hi knitters, this is Susu and I'd like to show you today how to knit short rows into color brioche. The technique that I use and recommend for short rows into color brioche is a variation of the wrap and tune technique you know from you may know from knitting before from other stitches. Um, there are some special steps you need to to do um, because there is a different rhythm, I'm so sorry, um, to <laughs> knitting brioche and that means that you need um, two right side rows followed by two wrong side rows. So that does make quite a difference. Um, and because of that we not only need to wrap the stitch um, but we also need to deal with all those stitches that we're not going to be working in a row anymore um, and I will show you how to do that. Um, this little swatch is what I'm going to be knitting now. Um, what you see here is uh, I've used here in all the, all the sections that have full rows. I've used this light grey colour, this, this speckled grey um, as a foreground colour and the darker grey as a background colour. And in every every rows, all the rows that are um, short rows, I've used a different um, foreground color just to highlight the short rows. I've used this pink as a foreground color in the short rows. There's a bit of a difference between wrapping from the right side to the wrong side, or wrapping from the wrong side to turning to the right side. Uh, and there's also a bit of a trick to picking up those wraps and knitting it, them together with these brioche stitches. And I'll show you everything step by step and you can follow along. The technique is, I think, pretty neat on the um, right side. I think it looks pretty good and I love playing with it and playing with color placement. Um, it's not quite perfect on the wrong side though. So you can see a little bit those wraps you can see them here here so what i would recommend is you need you want to find a way to hide them or place them where they're not quite so not not drawing the eye too much um but it looks quite great actually on the right side so and it's the best technique that i've found so far um Okay, so what you need to do is you need to have at least one full row of brioche before you start working short rows. So one full row of brioche means one pass with each colour. So two rows worked for one row counted. I've been using this pink as my foreground colour for all the full rows and the grey as my background colour. And now I'm going to be switching to this minty colour here for all my short rows. Um, I'm starting, this is my salvage stitch and then I'll just start brioche knitting. Brioche knit, flip one yarn over. If you're new to brioche, you may want to have a look at my brioche basics video. It covers all the essentials you need to know. So I'm working in two color brioche, brioche knit and slip one yarn over and ending with the slip one yarn over and this is the stitch that I'm going to be wrapping and I'm on the on the right side and I want to turn to the wrong side so what I need to do is now after the slip one yarn over I bring the yarn to the front slip that stitch that's going to be wrapped and then bring the yarn to the back and drop the yarn this foreground color in the back of the book and then I slip this wrapped stitch back onto my left needle what you see here is these are all the stitches that I'm gonna be still gonna be working and all of this these stitches here including that wrapped stitch I'm not gonna be working those anymore um, while working the short rows so what I can do now is either leave them on my needles and whenever they're in the way I can just slide them from one needle to the other and that's perfectly fine if you have just these 15 stitches that I have here 
um, but you have you know 400 stitches on your needles that's not going to be all that much fun and in case you have a um, high number of stitches I recommend using a circular needle as a stitch holder so you can just slip those stitches that you're not working anymore on a extra set of circular needles so they're out of the way and you can still easily work to them again when you're when you need to um, it's a little impractical to slide or you know just like four or five stitches on a circular needle so I'm gonna be using the stitch holding instead to just really show you the motions and how I do it so everything that's left here on my left needle including that red stitch gets transferred onto the stitch holder here And then I'm ready to work my second right side row with my background color. So I slide all the stitches to the other end of the needle and using my background color, that's the gray one here, I work the second right side row with slip one yarn over and brioche pearls. And I work up to that wrap stitch so all the stitches that are still on my working needles I work those up to that wrap stitch so that's the wrap stitch here okay so that last stitch is that pearl stitch and I drop that yarn that background color yarn in front of the book and what you can see now here is this is the wrap stitch and the last stitch of that I worked here and what happens is I have one color on the wrong side and one on the right side and then I can turn and I do stitches, you know, they're not in my way at all. So I can just turn and uh, knit a wrong side row, background, background row with my foreground color. And it starts with the slip one yarn over, brioche pearl. So I just slip one yarn over, brioche pearl to the end of the row. And because all of the stitches are out of the way, I can now slide all my working stitches to the other end of the needle and work my second long side row with my background color. And it starts with the brioche knit stitch. And what you may have seen now is that the reason why we placed one color in the back and one in the front is um, because of the first stitch we need to work in that next row in that wrong side row so that's why we place one in the back and one in the front okay so I'll show you again how to wrap this stitch I work in two color brioche slip one yarn over brioche knit to the last slip one yarn over stitch and I'm going to be wrapping the stitch here I bring the yarn to the front, slip the stitch to the right needle, bring the yarn to the back and drop it in the back. And I'm not going to be using, not going to be working all of those stitches here anymore, including that red stitch. And I will be placing all of those also on the stitch holder. Okay, so now it's obviously placed in one place. So this is why you need to want to have a circular needle as a stitch holder, not this, not this pin here. Because it's just not that practical. You know, it's good to have um, something with a tip on either side and two color brioche okay so all of these these stitches are out of the way again so you see that first wrap stitch and this is the wrap the stitch I just wrapped now and then I can slide all the stitches to the other side of the needle and work a second um, right side row with my background color and I work in slip in 
need to go bluish slip one lower bluish pearl to that last stitch that's here in the needle that last stitch before the right stitch is a bluish pearl and I drop that yarn in front of the book again you see the foreground color is in the back the background color is in the front of the book in the front I turn my work and I pull a little hair so the wrap so that wrap is not too loose. Don't do it, you know, don't pull too hard, but just a little, it's fine. And then I work that first stitch as a slip one yarn over. And then we just pull, slip one yarn over to the end. I slide all the stitches to the other side of the needle again. Pick up my background color, back background color, and start with the brioche net stitch. Okay, so I'll show you the whole thing one last time, and then we'll move on to picking up those wraps and closing through gaps so foreground color I'm wrapping the stitch here so the last stitch is a slip one yarn over bring the yarn to the front slip the stitch bring the yarn to the back and drop it and we're not going to be working all of these stitches here so I'm placing them with all the other stitches on my stitch holder. Slide to the other end of the needle and work a second right side row with your background colour. So this is a really short row, short short row, <laughs> ending with a brioche pearl. Drop yarn in front of the book and turn. Then pick up this foreground colour that's here in the wrap, that's forming this wrap here on the stitch holder, and start with a slip one yarn over and a brioche pearl to the end. Oops, drop my needles, slide all the stitches again, and start your background color row with a brioche knit stitch. Okay, so I'm going to turn now, and what I need to do is, what I do, will do now is work a full row. So I need to place all the stitches again on my needle so I can work them. So if you'd have them on a circular needle, you do have, you can just work from the circular needle stitch holder. And that's the real advantage of it. Um... So I recommend that very much. It's just not really practical for um, this low number of stitches. So I'm using this pink yarn now as my foreground color. So you can see that it is a full row again. I'm working in just normal two color brioche to this wrap stitch and on the right side it's really easy to pick up this wrap and uh, work it together with this brioche knit stitch and what I do is I just go through this wrap and then I go through the brioche stitch with its yarn over so all three loops on my right needle and then I just brioche knit all those stitches together and you just do a little finagling here and then it's like this and then I continue working in two color brioche to the next wrap. And then again, I go with my needle through the wrap and then through the brioche stitch with the yarn over and brioche knit them together. Slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over. Then you can see here again the wrap 
prayers sesh and I just make prayers make them together. And then I can continue working to the end of the row. Okay, and then that's just normal brioche knitting. Um, a full row with my background colour. Keep using my grey as a background colour. So it's just slip on your know a brioche pearl to the end of the row. Nothing special going on here. Okay, so I've now completed this first set of a full row. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to wrap and turn on the wrong side. So I'll turn to the wrong side. Um, and there's a bit of a difference here on how to wrap the stitch. Um, and I'll be using again my minty color as my foreground color so you can easily see um, which are the short rows and which is a full rows. So I'm starting just the wrong side row with my salvage stitch and then I just brioche pearl Slip one yarn over, brioche pearl. Slip one yarn over to that wrap, to the stitch that I want to wrap. And I want to wrap this stitch right here. So the last stitch of book is slip one yarn over. And so the difference now is how to wrap the stitch. And on the wrong side, you just slip the stitch to the right needle, bring the yarn to the Front and drop that foreground color on the back of the book. And then you're not going to be working, so you make sure you do not lose that slip on yarn over here. Um, keep that on the needle. So you're not going to be working all those stitches, including that wrap stitch anymore. So I will be placing them on my stitch shoulder. And now I can slide all my stitches to the other side of the needle and work a second wrong side row with my background color. And as you may know, this is done in slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, brioche knit to the wrap stitch, so all the stitches that are still on my needles, ending with the brioche knit stitch. And then I drop the yarn in the back of the book. So again, one color is in front and one is in the back of the book. Then I can turn around, pick up my foreground color, make sure that this wrap here is not too loose but also not extremely tight, so rather, rather tight than too loose, okay? So then bring the yarn to the front of the needle and the first stitch you're going to work is a slip one yarn over and then brioche knit slip one yarn over to the end of the row. And then we slip all the stitches to the other side of the needle again because they are all out of the way you can just pick up the background color and the first stitch we're going to be working is a brioche pearl stitch i know i have a little strange way to do my pearls so hope this doesn't distract you too much you know we all have our, our personal ways of doing things uh, my pearls in both of my middle finger here. Okay, so I'll show you again how to do this. So I'm going to work another wrong side row with the foreground color. Uh, 
and I will be wrapping this next stitch here. So I slip the stitch in the right needle, bring the yarn to the front and drop it there. And that's all there is to it really. And then again I will park those stitches on my stitch holder. All including this wrap stitch here. And then slip the stitches to the other side of the needle and work a second wrong side row with the background color ending with a brioche knit stitch and drop the yarn in the back of the book and turn around pull pick up the foreground color and pull a little to make the short wrap is not too loose and start the row with the slip one yarn over And again slide the stitches to the other side of the needle, pick up the background color, and start the row with a brioche pearl. And then slip on it over brioche pearl to the end of this right side row. Okay, so I'll show you one last time and then I'll show you how to pick up those wraps on the wrong side row because that is um, also a little different obviously so I'll be wrapping this next stitch here slip it to the right needle bring yarn to the front and drop it make sure you do not lose this the yarn over here when you transfer um, those stitches to the stitch holder the stitches to the other side of the needle and work that second wrong side row with the background color ending with a brush knit drop yarn in back and turn around pick up the foreground color make sure pull a little on it tighten the wrap slip on your nova brioche knit to the end there's my salvage stitch slide stitches pick up sorry it's right here the wrong uh, the background color and start with a brioche pearl stitch on this right side row okay so turning around here and I'll show you how to um, pick up those wraps here and before I can do that I'll need to transfer the stitches onto my needle um, so if you come to this wrap stitch really make sure you only transfer the stitch and the yarn over and leave the wrap below the stitch and if you have used a circular needle instead of a stitch holder you don't really have to worry about this step here you can just work from your circular needles Okay, so I'll be using again my pink here as the foreground color because I'm going to be working a full row now. So this is still a wrong side row in my foreground color and a brioche pearl slip one yarn over to this wrap stitch. And to make sure that looks is invisible on the on the right side, I need to turn my work so I can see the right side and then I pick up this wrap here with my right needle kind of from on the right side of it and then I pull it over those the stitch and the yarn over on the needle and then I can brioche pull them together stitch the yarn over and the wrap I'll show you again. Slip on your nova, brioche, pearl, slip on your nova to the wrap, turn your work so you can see the right side, make sure this yarn is a bit out of the way, 
and then pick up the wrap with your right needle and place it on on your left needle over those over the stitch and the yarn over and then bring the yarn to the front and pretty much pull all of those three loops together the stitch the yarn over and the wrap okay so one last time turn so you can see the right side pick up the wrap place it on the needle make sure you don't lose all those stitches here you want to make sure they stay on the left needle and then brioche pull them together okay so now all we need to do is slip, slide those stitches and work a full um, wrong side row with the background color so this is just brioche knit slip on your nova so here you can see the wrap and it is um, a little more visible on the wrong side so yeah it's a good idea to either find a way to hide it oh you can you can see it already so this is the short rows that we booked um, with wrapping on the right side and these are the short rows that we booked on the wrong side of it yeah that's it really i hope you really like this technique um i'm gonna be using it a lot i think i like i think it has a lot of potential and i hope that there'll be lots more patterns that use it um it's a great way to play with colors and and add some shaping to your knitting um also in two color brioche okay um if you have any more questions please um, write in the comments below or message me or email me um, You can mes message me on Ravelry as well and you can also find all my knitting patterns on Ravelry um, My name is Sosu or um, my full name is um, Susanna Sommer I hope you like this technique and enjoy this video Thank you